What's up guys, Ryan here from Mudgunner. Today we are back at Arizona Firearms in Tempe and I got some pretty cool guns to show you. These are both FN rifles. And the first one I have to show you is the PS90. It comes in the original blue box, which is cool. This has the like little uh, diagram of it on the front. But this is the LE model, which meant it shipped with 50 round mags. And this one has two with it. And these are cool. So it's Belgium submachine gun. They are 5.7 by 28, so a little round. Uh, feeds f f magazine from the top, but it goes down versus bottom up. So detaches right here and it holds 50 rounds of 5.7. And what's cool with these is they are 100% ambidextrous. You got your safety on both sides and your charging handle. And it's one of the easiest guns to disassemble. So you push this button right here, barrel comes out the front, your bolt falls out the front and you don't disassemble the bolt. You just leave it like that. And then your trigger pack, you slide this up. There's a little lever right here and then slides out the back. So that's the whole disassembly, super easy, which is making it very nice to clean and they run very clean. They don't get that dirty, but originally designed as like a 10 inch barrel. This has a 13 inch barrel with the uh, pinned flash hider. So it makes it 16 overall, so it's a rifle. But yeah, that is the PS90 and they are very sweet. So I have uh, one of these myself and I'll, sh I'll shoot it for you guys on the channel someday, but. This one's got the rail on top. It also has a peep sight in there, so you could have a little iron sight. Uh, whoever sold it to us has this little side rail on there for something, but very cool gun. And then the next one we have is also very sweet. So next up, we have one that's a little bit more rare. The PS90 is still made. These are not brought into the country anymore. They stopped bringing these in in 2013, as far as I know. This is the FS2000, so they're bullpup. 5.56 rifle. This is amazing. So this one, it takes 5.56, it takes standard AR mags. They have to be the GI metal mags. It doesn't accept the polymer mags because there's a seal in the mag wall right here. But these, uh, they load from the bottom like a standard AR. And you'll notice there's no ejection port over here. The ejection port on these guns is up front here. And what this does is it'll capture, I think it's like four or five uh, rounds. And then after you shoot like the fifth or sixth, it'll start popping them out the side there. So you have your dust cover right here. This is how you would check your chamber. So you got a side charging handle right here. And then, yeah, as it's feeding them, it's also feeding the spent casings into a tube that comes out the side here. This assembles similar to the PS90, uh, piston driven 17 inch barrel. And they do also make a rail that you can replace this handguard with. I have one with the rail and one without the rail, and um, one of mine has the original scope. So they made this funky looking scope that was like built in right here. It looks very futuristic or like a halo rifle, but this is also very cool. I spent like seven years trying to find one of these, and this year at this store alone, we've had like seven just in one year, but the last seven years, they were unobtainium. So very cool to see another one come through the shop, and it's got the original box. Doesn't have a mag with it, but again, it just takes AR mags that are metal. So. Yeah, I just wanted to show you these two cool FN guns. I thought it was nice that they both had the original blue box because FN doesn't do boxes like this anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for the next video.